Hello, hello everyone. The stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? On this Thursday late afternoon slash evening slash morning, depending on your your time zone. Doesn't actually make sense to say like good evening or good afternoon or good morning or whatever, considering that I don't know where everyone is. Hi. So we're sitting at 89 right now with our Pyroclast mine built. And we are going to keep mapping today. One of the first things we're going to do, though, is last stream we collected a bunch, bunch of veiled stuff. And we're going to all unveil it all at once now to see what crafts we get. It's kind of exciting. I want to see what we get. There's a particular craft that I'm looking for right now, which is the uh, minus two uh, mana to non non channeling skills. I don't know if we have any Elrions veiled though. That would be specifically Elrions. Oh, we have one Elrions veiled. We also have a Yannis, a Ri a Rins, and we have Kellox. And a second rinse or a second Giannis. Cool. Let's see what we can make out of these. Some of these might actually be really good, depending on what we get. And like on some, this is pretty good. Uh oh. That probably couldn't be worse. That's really unfortunate. I don't think I can use it for anything. If I didn't need attributes or life, it wouldn't actually be that bad, but I do, so it is. But I could craft life on this if I wanted to. The benefit of uh, going fire cold, though, assuming I actually use this, is this isn't to attacks or to spells, it's just to everything. So this would give me a tiny bit of cold damage, which would give me a freeze chance. Because currently we have a 5% chance to shock, which doesn't matter because we already shock with our skitter bots. 100% chance to blind, and a... Where's our ignite chance? Or do we just have a 100% chance to ignite? I guess it's just 100, because it's not showing. Hi, Ron! How are you doing today? I'm curious, if I swap this on... That's the spell cold damage, but that's not what I'm looking for. Looking to see about if they're giving me a freeze chance. I would give you a freeze chance, why not? That's a fair bit of fire damage, come to think of it, just like looking at it right now. Hmm. Maybe this is actually useful. I'll, I'll have to figure that out. I'm doing fantastic today. Always happy to be streaming. I'm excited to see what these uh, veiled items turn into. We might have actually created something nice here. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like we need the attributes too badly. The lack of life, though, is going to be killer. Because we're at 39.57 right now. And it would drop us down to 37.47. Okay, yeah, so that drops us 200 life. Okay, so... Let's just look at what we can get from this. We get life and mana, which we don't really need, uh... We could add the non-channeling skills mana reduction. Which would basically remove the mana cost of Pyroclast entirely. 
remove a chunk, of, it would remove about a third or a quarter of flame dash. Small amount of flammability. Would be really nice to have it, but I also need life is the problem. I think life is more important. No, give me at least 50. Uh, darn it, I don't have any more scourings. I'm struggling so much with scouring this league. So I can trade 100 life for... 100 life and 25 regen for a bit of extra damage, theoretically. And theoretically, better resistances? Oh yeah, that actually makes my resistance way better. This one, this one is cold, cold lightning. Let's remove some of the strength we need. Curiosity. We don't actually need all that much. We just need a bit more strength on here. <laughs> we got to replace this really easily. Because we don't need the coal res on there at all, and we don't need most of the lightning res there either. Yep. Where we actually managed to craft an item for use in, in a build beyond endgame. That's crazy. I never get to craft I never find anything that's useful to me. This, this game doesn't really do that these days. Let's prove that we can easily get a better other ring now, which is nice. We can also pick up a much higher life ring, because this the life on this ring is ass. But put that aside for a second. Unveiling. Let's go back to it. Okay, it's nothing. Nothing. Most of these are going to just be crap. But might actually give us something nice. I'm going to make sure that I have all of the uh, resistance and chaos resistance ones. Like these ones. I'll make sure I have all of those. I think I do, though. Nice movement speed one. I'm fortunate it's on a really shitty base. Okay, what would be good on here? This actually isn't terrible. I mean, adding... I mean, I can make it tri-attribute, which would be funny, but not that useful. This gives... 12 fire res, 57 cold res, 17 lightning res, and 17 cold, uh, chaos res. Not actually bad. Maybe worth a couple C. That's not good. Yeah, this one is a strong fire res one. I mana not really useful in anything else. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, generally, if you're doing like a high mana build, you're doing a Templar, and Templar, especially Inquisitors, like strength and int. So I'll see if that sells for something. 
text minion wand. That's pretty good. Minion damage, minion damage, minion attack speed, minion cast speed, minion, minion crit multi multiplier. That'd be worth something. Yeah, apparently it's worth, like, four chaos. Hmm. That's good life to it. That's about all. I'm very happy that we actually managed to find something useful. That is very bizarre and exciting. Okay. Saying maybe 10C. Five C. What in the four C category? It's better to sell something than not sell it. So. There's only a couple C. And the rest of this, I think, is just junk. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was I was wondering if this could somehow be in any way useful. No, like all of the rolls suck except for the even the movement speed min rolled despite being a tier one modifier. Okay, did we get anything else interesting last time? Because we got a bunch of jewelry. Flasks, I just transmute and put up. Sell, they might not sell, we'll see. It doesn't really matter too much. A gold worm with max roll on quant! That is a very big deal. Max roll on quant is 39c. Max roll on quant with 45 elemental resistance is 40. Up to 39. It's actually really, really good. We got a really nice pick last time. What else did we get? This is a bit strange for music, but okay. <laughs> uh, not high enough. Might be high enough, because that's, that's 81 max life, technically. Yeah. You include the other stuff. I don't know if that is worth it, though. Fairly to see. No. Things like this are the worst, where you have, like, a really low life roll that just blocks any other life rolls. It sucks. Almost all of that's just crap. We, ha we got that 127 max life roll one. With the plus two to AoE gems. This might be worth something. We also got the 
Totem Life and Totem Ellie Res, which is good. The damage of swords isn't very good. But I think it kind of kills it. Yeah, that kills it. Well, this theoretically should be good. Global physical damage, attack speed, and max life. That's sh plus attributes. That shouldn't be bad, no matter what. Oh, yeah. So minus the attributes, it's sitting at like 100c. One attribute sitting at 5 divine. With the other attribute, nothing. Uh... Let's say we don't have physical. Let's say we just cut out the physical. That decreases it a lot. Hard to say how much this is worth. I can put it up for a divine, see what happens. That one's not, not worth anything. We have the exotic coinage, which is worth a lot of money. They're worth like 4c a piece. Cool. That's the majority of what we had stocked up from yesterday. Got some good picks, that's nice. Let's see, what are we going to work on today? Do we have any div cards to open? No. I guess we're just going to keep pushing maps then. We want to get as far as we can in the tiers so that Kira can give us higher and higher tier maps when we reroll him. And also so we can start getting red maps too. Hmm... Actually, let's run Maelstrom of Chaos. That has the chance of dropping Divine Beauty. Which is a very, very good card. Oh. I guess that's fair that the perfect gold worm is probably going to sell. But yeah, uh... Maelstrom of Chaos has, has the chance to drop Divine Beauty, which is the... Uh... 11 cards make 7 Divine Orbs, one. Really good. I believe they're sitting at like 80-ish C right now. Each. They're all dropped by the boss. So let's see if Marvale has anything for us. So it does have like pretty high rarity, but rarity doesn't really mean much, I find, in this game. Because rarity just gives you more rare gear, and rare gear is almost never worth anything. Or at least just there's so much of it that actually finding anything worthwhile would take way more time than it would be to just get raw currency. So we won't spend too much more time in here than we need to. Holding off on doing the uh, research, no, not research. Hold off on doing the safe house that we have right now because I don't want to risk losing the XP somehow. Because we are starting to push the uh, push the levels, and we don't have like perfect gear or anything. I don't want to wander into a tier t tier fifteen or something that we're not ready for and just get smashed.
Oh yeah, we can have additional atlas trees! I forgot about that. That's so sexy. We have a pyroclast tree currently. I will change up what's on the tree if I do another build. I probably will do another build too. It's rare for me to do one build in a league only. Okay. Uh, do you pick up anything interesting, Kirok? Lost Worlds. Mm hmm. Very inhabited by additional rogue exiles. That's probably worth a lot of money this league specifically. Oh. Mm hmm. I think it's about 19c, actually. Because if you can get that same strategy we had last time, where you have the... Uh, where you can reroll the exiles as... Um, all their armor or weapons drop as chaos, it's really, really good. I'm going to grab that. Okay, Waste Pool and Wasteland. We have those. Waste Pool's only seven I don't have. And Wasteland I don't have either. I ran out of Elks, though, unfortunately. <laughs> like the Waste Pool. Yeah, so it's about, I think it's about 20c per, per uh, Rogue Exile Area 1 thing. My right, last elk. Well, let's see if we can get some this time. Oh, you can swap them here. That's cool. Safe house, it's intervention. Oh, so we need to get Verici here and then we can convert our uh, pariah here to a white socket for the item quant. Yep. Yep, the Rogue Exiles maps are definitely worth 20 C a piece. Okay. Uh, so we mainly need uh, Leader of World stuff right now. Yeah, so I'll push the Eater of Worlds right now. Accompanied by a map boss. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's scary. Well, of course, you know what we have to do. We'll put on the high-density uh, pack size one. And we'll put quant on the increased pack size thing as well. Actually, can I add... What can I add to this? Add Vistules, Broken Circle Artifacts, Sulfite... Omens. No, I don't want to do omens because then I get a bunch of chaos damage shit. The broken circle artifact ones. Hmm. Well, these ones don't fire projectiles, so that's okay. 
Caustic Arrow has air effect stuff with it. This doesn't have AoE stuff, so we'll swap them. These are melee, so we'll swap these. Hopefully we just don't get hit. <laughs> At least that's the plan. Wait, it says a map boss. Does that mean this map boss? Because I didn't consider... Oh. No, it's not this map boss. It's a map boss. Okay, good. Because the uh, map boss for this map specifically has silence. It's the only boss in the game that has silence, which makes it so you can't use your your actual skills for a short amount of time. That is very scary. Oh god, what is that? Oh, there's a vole and a... Oh, it's the cemetery boss. Eurybix? Okay. There is a lot of map bosses. Already hit three map bosses. Maybe this was a terrible plan. It's exciting now. No, that's too exciting. <laughs> too much excitement. Oh, to the fourth boss. No, it's the primordial pool, or that's primordial blocks boss. Usually the falling rocks can one-shot you or two-shot you, I find. So those are not something you want to just tank. Nope. Who is that? Arbiter of Knowledge. I don't even know which boss that is. No, that's the boss from this map. Oh god, don't silence me. There's no... There's very little counterplay to silence. There you are. Nope. Five map bosses already. Maybe I've made terrible choices. Starting... Starting to question my decisions. Huck, thank you, I need you. Hi, friend. Determination ore is very nice right about now. Walk into my flames, will you? Don't want to have to deal with anything else. Legion, ammo splinters, nice. Uh, I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh no. Oh no, it's it's the uh the slums boss. Whatever it's called. I hate that one. Seven map bosses. Ooh. Things are starting to get more dicey now that we're in tier twelve. Need to make sure I keep moving so I don't get murdered. Nope. Bit much. Reduce crit multi per power charge. Dear God, no. Ooh. Echoers for uh, I can take additional light or additional energy shields on the boss. 
as long as it's only one map boss and it's not all the map bosses, because actually, if that's the, the case, then I might be in trouble. Okay, right, that's the eighth map boss. Ninth. That one, I think, just... That's Gravitious. Don't... Don't Firestorm me. Okay, I'm gonna stop- I'm gonna stop counting the map bosses, because it's gonna take too long. Oh! Oh, hello! I didn't expect to see you outside of the jail. Don't even think about doing that to me. Ah. Why are the- I picked- I made poor choices! Why are there so many map bosses? Choices have been made, and they were not good ones. Okay. I think I can safely go and actually take the, uh... Do this stuff over here without getting eaten by something. So we've gotten a Timeless Splinter 1, a Tattoo Ember, and a Omen Ember. That's nice. And how to fight the silencing boss. Aramir, you go test the waters. Totally not throwing you in as bait. Yes, look at Huck. Will you? He's invulnerable. I'm not. Oh, they took his bookshelves out! He used his bookshelves to hide behind! All my eater modifiers suck. Bo poison avoidance. Okay, that actually is useful to me. Interest lightning resistance. That's not useful, but I'm out of things, so. Good. Okay, so I can actually have use for my. Uh, Eater implicit here and my eater implicit here. They're not what I want for it, but they're they're useful. No. Not you. The Roa like thing that jumps. It's the goat Roa. Okay, that is a lot of ward creatures. I've really made like an evil map. Really did not mean to do this. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. You ghoul, why is your ghoul here? 
Go away. No. No. Bad, you girl. Bad. Bad. Uh, grasshopper god thing. I don't actually know what Yugul is. Oh gosh. Whew. That rare had four mods on it. That's cruel at the best of times. I'm not going all the way into the room unless I have to. <laughs> I, let's just kill things before they get to me. I think that's a safer plan than anything else I've been doing. I think it might be a little bit less entertaining, potentially, but... Skeleton? More skeleton? No, no more skeleton. More skeleton. No more map boss. That's nice. <laughs> I don't need any more map bosses. Last thing is June. It would be so cute to have, like, uh, to just, okay, I realize this wouldn't really matter to the actual people, um, so it would matter a bit more, like, if they were characters, but it would be so cute to have, like, a pair of lesbian characters, one that's named April and one that's named June. Okay, that's a bit much. What else is going on here? Nope. Jorgen. Jorgen. No, it's Elrion. Oh my god, she escaped from me. Screw you. Adding screams and evil laughter to a song that's called Downright Chilling is so, so uncool. I thought the song was chill. I thought we would be chilling. I've been lied to. Pep of all, definitely very good. But we're pretty well on that too. I'll be good for our leveling things. Nope. Physical damage from from hits taken as chaos. No, that's not. No, no, it's bad. That's not good. Oh shit. Six percent of my physical damage is going to be have a twenty-two percent damage increase on it. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> That's not good. Oh. I've made an error. I've certifiably made an error. Oh shit, I don't have- it. oh wait, no, I have Corpse of Binding. Jesus instead. Area is affected by seven additional random unallocated notable Atlas passives. 
Oh gosh, okay, that sounds interesting. Well, if it's going to pick things that are unallocated. Actually, that's most things at this point still. Hmm. I don't really want to pick any of these things. I don't know what it is, and it's still not that high a tier of a map. Hmm. Crumbs there. Guess I'll give crit hit to the skeletons that aren't going to pop up very often. And extra damage to the demons. Yeah, let's try that. Just need to not get punched by the bears, and I'm okay. I wonder if I could be able to see what is being added. Nope, I have no idea what they've added. It wouldn't just happen to show up on the thing, would it? Nope, okay, no idea what Alice Passive they've added, but we'll see. It's not even the Keystone, so it's nothing crazy, at least. It's probably just, like, statistical changes. You're tanky. At least none of the Delirium monsters get modifiers from the All Flame. That's nice. That's definitely one big difference uh, fr from Affliction that I've noted it before, but the fact that we control which mobs have the modifiers also mean that like the boss doesn't just inherit random extra power and scary other creatures like added Delirium monsters don't inherit a bunch of random power. It's a much it's a much better like complex challenge system that is quite fully featured and it also teaches you about the monsters that you're fighting because you learn kind of what their abilities are like what their special abilities are and what they do regularly. Like I feel like I'm learning things from from the uh elf flame even though I've been playing this for so long, I, like, I really do feel like there's things in it that I wasn't aware of that I'm learning now. You know, how learning works. <laughs> Uh-oh. I walked into a scary place. Eh, lasers. No. No laser. Yeah. Nation Scarab. Maybe I should deal with the boss before anything happens to me. No, because this is a uh, X Arch map. Any of the Eldritch maps, it's always best to leave the boss to the end if if you can. Because you don't know if you're going to get an altar that gives extra like bonus to the boss. Like, bonus rewards. There. I'll come back for that when I do the boss. Maybe I should just go do the, the stronghold rather than... Or the safe house rather than waiting forever. Worst comes to worst, I lose some XP from it, because, like, I need, like, I'm missing out on an entire Immortal Syndicate event each map because of me not using it yet, so maybe this is a mistake not doing it immediately.
section uh, that is as middling as it can be. <laughs> uh, update decks. Okay, so that's all just extra area. Empty stuff. Is this the same person as before? I don't know. The person from before hasn't come back. If th so if this isn't them, then, well, whatever. I waited for a while. Unless we just got another tier 12, which is good. You know, this isn't bad. Especially the fact that I got two perfect attribute mods on it. So just the attribute mods are about 3 chaos. Now, usually the attack damage or attack speed with wands is ass, but because of the uh, Sacred Wisps, this this league, that being a new gem, I think they're actually worth something now. Let's just try just the attack speed and damage. Yeah, it's a couple chaos. With just dex, it's supposedly a divine. With just int, it's 10 chaos. Okay. Don't know how to price that exactly. Or for 20. Better to sell it than to not sell it. Oh, none of that works together. Oh, well. Crit multi and element resistance, I guess. No. Nope. Crit multi and totem resistance. No. Nope. Totem resistance and elemental resistance. No. Nope. I really want to get the altars going, the altar atlas passive, so we can get more altars. Because altars are what make a lot running Eldritch maps really valuable. And you can kind of force altars to spawn more with passives. Or nice. Can change out the extra chaos damage shit that I added accidentally. <laughs> I mean, that would be great if I was a Chaos Inoculation build. That would just make me immune to 10% of physical damage. Or 6% of physical damage, but... Not how it works for this. Uh, yeah, I should need... To... Okay, I'm gonna go up the right side. And hit the boss. The harvest, nice. Oh, I love the uh, ruined titans that like slowly get up off the ground. They are the perfect dump for any like dangerous stats that you get. It's like, ah, oh, this thing gets three hundred percent crit multi. Do you want to put this on the ranged creature, or do you want to put it on the creature that you can almost always kill before it gets off the ground? Mm. Be a bit careful, because this is a tier 11. Our responses are scary. Yeah. Especially ones with charge.
You know, I'd really like it if they would uh, change it up so that with Harvest Monsters, they only drop the, the life force at the end of the... at the end of the each individual encounter, because A, it means that it would... Uh, you could bulk group them together rather than picking up 10 here, 10 there, etc. And B, you also would be able to know exactly when an encounter is done. Because it can be pretty hard to tell sometimes when an encounter is actually done. No, you're not exploding. Wow, this is really bad. All we're getting is common, common essence or common essence monsters. We're not even getting rare es or we're not even getting uncommons. I guess no. I, I guess that we're getting common and uncommon. We're not getting any rares. That's sad. This isn't the highest tier, anyways, so... I guess it does make sense. Plus, there's the fact that the more rare monsters you deal with, the more rare monsters you deal with. I need to adjust my mic really badly because my mic is just like sitting in front of my face. It's really blocking an unfortunate part of the screen, I have to say. Nope. No. There we go. It's 36. Okay, so let's strong box scarabs. That wouldn't that would give me enough to level up. That'd be enough to max the safe house. Anarchy scarabs. Yeah, I'll max the safe house. Mm, I think... Oh, right, we have to do the boss. We didn't get any altars that entire time. Really sad. Okay, so there's three bosses. Three bosses there? Three bosses that. I mean, too many, but... Too many is the is acceptable answer. One of them. There we go. I need to remember to actually corrupt these maps. Otherwise, I'm not going to be getting the bonus objectives. Okay, let's get rid of this awful licit. Okay, that's much better. I need to reroll any... I don't really need to reroll any of the X Arch implicits. The X Arch implicits are actually really good. Oh, 
Also, with how much mana I seem to be having, I'm kind of wondering about swapping the clarity and the precision here. Because I want to have something... Uh, I want to have something reserving life, so I'm st still getting the a benefit from the ore mastery to give me extra max resistances. I don't necessarily need to be doing it with clarity. I'm doing it with clarity because clarity is the... Because uh, I didn't have enough mana initially to work with, or at least in the path of building, but I do actually have enough now. That wouldn't actually be that easy to do, though, is the problem. Because I've, I've been lucky enough to get four off colors on these gloves, so I don't really want to change that up too much, because I, I would need to change that up so I could put the get a green on here, and then I'm going to need... Uh, It's supposed to be here. That's actually, that's supposed to be a portal gem, so it doesn't actually have a purpose right now. Seeing as I don't really think I'm gonna need a portal gem. Hmm. I guess I could just go for a red a red blue, which will give me enough to have a or righteous fire. Hmm. The only other problem is that I need three blues on here then, so I need three off colors. I can force three blues with 125 crumbs. And I can force a red blue on here with 50 crumbs. It would give me more life to work with. Hopefully not, it wouldn't reserve too much mana. I'm going to be reserving about 60 more mana then. Should be fine. I mean, once the my light level's up, it's going to be even better, so... I think we can do that. What's the best way to do this? It's unfortunate that the red is the first one and not the last one. Otherwise, I could just set it to three sockets and back to four and it'd be fine. This one I can actually change without needing to use any chromes. It's just going to take a second. Oh, wow, that was really quick. Perfect. And then I just need... Uh, I guess I can just do the exact same thing here. Down to three, back up to four. Yep, that was perfect. Exactly what I needed. Okay, so that brought us up like 130 more life in exchange for what actually only ended up being like 45 mana. That's totally worth it. 
Yeah, because now we're at almost 4,000 life. Hmm. This is one... We can get over 4,000 life right now, actually. All we have to do... Go to town. Talk to Lonnie. Some scours. Change. And, oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot. No, it doesn't matter because we need elk still. Uh I wonder how much, okay, how much actually are our Alks right now? Because if there's like 10 to Chaos, I should just buy some. Elk for Chaos. There's five of Chaos. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean I shouldn't buy them. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on this. Okay. That was quick enough. I'm not going to currency trade on, on stream. It's bad enough that we have to currency trade at all. Certainly don't want to watch that. I don't want to do it. So... Nothing worse than messaging 20 people and getting no response from any of them. Okay. That doesn't matter, because we got it. Oh, perfect roll! Okay. Over 4,000 now. Awesome. What are we doing for all of our implicits? Do we have many blessed orbs? We have three. I can blessed orb these and they'll get better somehow. Yeah, they're better. Perfect. Okay, I don't need to change my gear anymore. Cool. We're finally over 4,000 life, which makes me a lot more comfortable. Now, if just over here we can swap, eventually, when we have time, if we can swap the rarity modifier for a... Like, if we pick something else that instead of having the rarity modifier, it has energy shield, could have half that mana or none of that mana would be fine, and have a better life roll. Actually, the ideal here is... A Coral Ring for life, or a Vermilion Ring for life. Max life and max energy shield for two implicits with an open... Or for two prefixes with an open prefix. And then just... Actually, we don't even necessarily need the lightning. You might be able to swap the lightning out for all res and the cold out for chaos resistance, which would bring our chaos resistance into the positives. Which is always good. I think that's a good idea of what I need. I should actually write that down. Coral slash vermilion ring. We are going to want. Life, energy, sh yes. We're gonna have an empty prefix, all res suffix, strength suffix, and chaos res suffix. That's like the perfect ring for us. We don't even need that much strength either.
Honestly, even if we don't have the open prefix, we still could just go for an open suffix with no strength and just craft strength on. Because we have the easy... We have the easy uh, strength dex, strength int options we can always pick up. Also, if we have an extra suffix, crit multi. Lots of crit multi. Am I going to shatter anything? I don't know if that's going to happen, actually. For whatever reason, I don't seem to have coal. I don't seem to be freezing anything. Yeah, I don't have a chance to do anything here. It doesn't even include a... That's weird. It doesn't even include me as having a Ignite chance. Did I mess something up? It's supposed to have an Ignite chance. Otherwise, Snowforged is kind of worthless. Actually, no, just Snowforge isn't worthless because my sh my Skitterbots chill things, so that doesn't matter. Hmm. I guess that'll be a question later on. Hmm. And that's weird. Anything preventing ailments? No. No? If anything, I should have more ailments because of proliferation on Flame Dash. Actually, wait, does Flame Dash ignite? Flame Dash can freeze <laughs> and ignite. Flame Dash can blind, ignite, freeze, and shock. That's funny. And it can proliferate its freeze, too. Because of elemental proliferation. Which I assume is where the chance to freeze, shock, and ignite is coming from. Hmm. Maybe I've missed something. Or it's just not it's just not showing everything. But no, it's supposed to show a chance to ignite if you have a chance to ignite. You know, it's actually it's showing ignite damage. Wait. Does it Maybe not show me your. Let me not show my chance if it's a one hundred percent chance. It shows blind if it's a hundred percent chance. Oh, hi, chaotic noodle. Welcome to the channel. I'm just staring at my uh, pyroclast saboteur, trying to figure out why I can't ignite things. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing today? Yes, test of loyalty. I'm gonna do a low level map quickly to push through the safe house. Uh, can I do elemental weakness? Easily. Well, I very much appreciate you coming and saying hi. Hi! Yeah, I just, I'm really confused as to why 
it's supposed to be able to ignite and freeze and shock. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll figure it out another time. Okay, so we have an increased pack size thing. Uh, try to put some of the low-level embers in there. Give me some fall splinters. Jade? Uh, nope, because that would be a 19%. It's a 20. I'm pretty sure it's coming from elemental proliferation. Oh. Hello. In any case, I'm more confused why my power class mines don't ignite, supposedly. I don't have el I don't have element of focus. Is there anything I could block it? Nothing in my password tree can block it, and none of my gems can. I'm gonna just go hit something and see what happens. Do I care about any of this? I don't think so. All fine. Where's a rare? Need a rare specifically, or this won't work. Actually, maybe the door. No, it has the freeze and sh it has the chill and shock from the scatter bots, but I'm not seeing. It has the ignite. It has the ignite look to it. That's so weird because, like, I am supposed to have ignite chance, especially because I have climb ability. Hmm. Ah. Oh, it's an exile. That's why I'm getting murdered. Oh, I just realized I'm in Basilica. Oh, no. <laughs> As Bannon would say, What in damnation have you done? I've opened a Basilica and now I have to fight Innocents. All of his stages. Uh. No. That's... Okay. Phase two. Phase one. Phase three. Phase four. Phase three.
phase four. God, he's so many phases. Also, I'm I'm not an idiot. I'm not counting. I'm not counting like going up. I'm counting based on which stage is which. So duplicate stages are the same thing. Thank you, Noodle. I appreciate it. If you type exclamation mark build in chat, you can see exactly how the build works. You can see the build video where I show it off. And... My brain can't manage to deal with any more while I'm dealing with exiles. Actually, when I'm trying to make sure I use up this diamond shrine before it goes away. Why oh, didn't hit? I swear I hit that. Oh, fuck, my... My necropolis is full! Ah! I hate the periodically engorged monsters. They're so scary. Okay, now to deal with the... Morgue. I'm not sure what you mean. I mean, I intend to be mapping for the rest of the stream, so... No. I'm only, like, 50 in? Uh, this is my 50 sec, yeah. I've taken this lead quite slow. Oh, that could have been decent if it just didn't have the movement speed. Uh, no. Okay. That's bad. Yeah, but it has a prefix prevail on it. Aw, oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. It has a prefix veil on it, so if I did not have the 10% movement speed, I could unveil a 30%. I, I'm not annulling just just to sell something. My boots are better. I mean, the life on them isn't amazing, but otherwise they're good. Yeah, no, it would only be to sell it. And I don't think I'll get the return from an annul. I mean, like, there are ways to make it better, but... Not price-efficient ones. Whoa. What's going on? Huh. For some reason, things weren't responding to me for a second. I wouldn't call myself rich, no. I do decently well for myself in this game, but... I think I'm only sitting at, like, 2 div right now, so not particularly rich. 
I was playing the market like I usually would, I would be a bit higher, but... I'm really liking this league, but for whatever reason, I just... I don't know, I haven't had the desire to go as hard on this league as I have most other leagues. I think I'm just casually enjoying it, for the most part. Ultimately, the final version of this build is closer to, like, 20 div. So, I'll... I'll be getting there eventually. Not including like perfect rares or anything. Free is always the best price. Why? I just shattered a bunch of shit. I'm shattering stuff. Why am I shattering stuff? I'm not supposed to have be- I'm not supposed to be doing that, I don't get it. Like, I'm supposed to be doing that path of building-wise, but I'm not supposed to be doing that according to the game. So, I don't know. Mathematically, I am supposed to be freezing on crit, which is like 50% of the time, so... Ow. The heck? Haku and Hillock? Uh, no, not really, not really my thing, honestly. It's, it's on, like, the kind of, like, re reality show slash talent show kind of sector of, like, genre of TV, and I don't really like that stuff, honestly. Like, I don't even have a Netflix subscription these days. I mainly just watch anime and YouTube. I'm always watching other gaming creators, usually. But anything that could be considered, like, reality TV or talent show or anything like that, it's just not my... not my cup of tea. If you enjoy it, that's great. Not my thing. It's a pretty good increased duration. You're perfect. Probably better than mine, I just have to get a new thing on it. Boop. Perfect! <laughs> That's slightly more increased effect and slightly more increased duration. I'm just up, uh, upgrading my rock gut right now. How much is a increased effect rock gut? Why are there supposedly no increased effect rock guts on the market? That doesn't make sense. Okay, I will put it for two. Love me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add this to my liked stuff. 
Eventually, I want to create like a curated section of Outer Tone stuff that I really like and make my own playlist because there's a, there's a few songs in this that I really do not like having just pop up constantly. Well, electric sulfite veins and chests found in your maps contain doomed spirits. Price of progress. Oh, what the heck does that mean? Hey, what are doomed spirits? Unless that's just another weird re way of saying tormented spirits, but... Someone says on Reddit, it's a third chance to spawn a ghost, third chance to spawn a small shrine, or a third chance to spawn a strong box. What? That's weird. Why try that? Okay, I'm too curious. And it's every volactic sulfite or chest. Okay. Cool. That might give extra effective quant to my map then. Certainly not going to say no to that. Uh, did I get everything I needed? Did I buy Wasteland or did I run out of money for Wasteland? I ran out of money for Wasteland. Okay. I'll run Wasteland now. Oh! Monster attacks have a 40% chance to impale on hit. That's new. Drop weapons are converted to orbs of regret. Ooh. 11 to 45. That's crazy. Cre <laughs> Let's increase the pack size more. Okay. Okay, I can play with that. Oh, let's do something crazy. <laughs> Eleven, fifteen to twenty-four Katava warriors with that drop Kauri tattoos. Sexy. I boost. Hmm. I think I might push for that. I want to really put cultists in here. Okay, let's see what happens. And a Freesha. Is there using something like this in your build? Uh, it should go well with the armor you have. Hmm. Who would I be linking to in this scenario? Because I don't play with anyone else. So my only bet would be to either have Huck or Einhar, and the only way that I can link to an NPC is by taking uh, the defensive minion mastery, which allows damageable minions. Link with you? 
What do you mean? You, you can't link to yourself. As well, you have a link target, not when someone's linked to you. Link with generosity support. I admit, I don't really understand how you're suggesting that I would do that. Because the whole point of Link Scales is that it requires two people, or two creatures somehow, to do it. I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any way to pretend that you're linked to something. Nor is there really any way to link to yourself, or they would just be self-buffing skills. Like, it's a really great concept if I was linking to things, but... I'm not. Theoretically, you could make a goal, like, a build with a golem in it. And link to that, but... Close to the flaw because the last one isn't supposed to work with generosity support. So it forces the benefit from generosity support onto you. Am I correct in understanding that? Here, I should keep mapping while we talk. Okay. It still doesn't fix the, the fact that I need to have something to link to, though. And I don't really... I don't really want to stick Golem in my build. Okay, so I need 10% more, so who can I dump? Well, so that brought me out to having the intervention safe house out. I got that after doing intervention itself, so I still have the benefit. Ooh, lead avoidance. I'll have to play with Hands of Freesha at some point to see, to, like, figure out what you're talking about, because I'm not 100% sure what you mean by not needing a target. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'll look them up. So, I mean, if there's some way to kind of, like, cheat the system a little bit, then... Well, here's the thing. If it's, fl if it's a flaw in the item, then using it would, attempt would potentially be considered an exploit. And that has two disadvantages. One, that you're really not supposed to do that, and it's not a good thing to do, especially as a Twitch streamer. And two, it could just get changed at any point.
And I don't really... Don't really want to mess with any of GGG's rules, because... They let me use their servers. To make content, so... I really want to move over it. Well, I understand that's that standpoint. They're... They're only humans. They only have so much time in the day to do so much stuff. I mean, I'll look into it. We'll see... See what exact... Blah, no! Wildwood fuckers. Don't you dare flower me. I feel like there's a good deflowering joke I could make there, but I just can't think of it. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. I wonder how a replica Dragonfang's flight would compare to Marlene's fallacy. As an amulet, because Pyroclast Mines really likes gem levels, so. That could potentially be really powerful. Research, research, computer researcher, Giannis, leader. I would prefer that. Rion is a three star. 16 currently. But I can force him to become the leader instead. By imprisoning him. Then I can make them trusted instead. So I have an intervention safe house, and honestly, it won't take too long to get to research, too. Hey, Vol. Bye, Vol. Hey, I'm gonna get flowered in a second if I'm not careful. They're all, all like, right off screen. Yep, there they are. You wanna stay in one spot for just enough time that they target you and cast, and then move out of the way. Okay, got the mage. Is that you, Tula? Hi, you, Tula. I knew I recognized your sanctimonious hypocrisy. Actually, I don't think I know Utola's philosophies that well. At least not well enough to speak on them. Uh... 
Oh shit, that just ends right there. Ah, detonate! So I mentioned this last stream, but I've wandered into a problem when I was looking at buying things for the build. So Polaric Devastation was considered to be like a somewhat cheap unique in the past few leagues. Past two leagues, specifically. And I was like, okay, well, it's not that expensive, so I can put it into the build. Well... Either I've read something wrong, or I don't know what happened. Because Polaric Devastation is 8 div. This league, which is... What? And, like, I checked the... I checked the whole... Uh, whatever it's called. Uh, the graph throughout the league of of how expensive it was at the start and like how long it would take to drop off and i predicted the drop off wouldn't be that far but we're still setting up there like 8 div so i think i'm going to have to modify the build a bit cuz it's just ridiculous i'll either have to put cleric devastation to the uber section instead of the advanced section or i'm going to have to replace it with something a little bit less painful to the wallet Supposed to hurt the monsters, not your wallet. Oh, right. I have to itemize it. Ensure to clear this as much as I can right now. Yeah, it should be good. I want to make sure that I'm getting all the tattoos I can. I guess I might as well have an omen with me. Doesn't hurt. I wonder if death dancing would be better though. A fire damage, a fizz damage, a fire res, a attack leech, and a bleed tattoo, and none of them are worth anything, as far as I can tell. Yep, they're all worth a C at most. Fortunately, none of those are useful to me. I kind of need all of my attributes. Monster's Lineage. Double C. Still haven't seen Nico yet. That yeah, it's Nico over there. Go. Go up here, or I'm going to take. I'm gonna block something. I should probably focus on blocking it soon so that I can go to Nico here, rather than coming up from here. Because I'm going to take all of these. I could actually save a point if I move things over. If I move this point over. I'm probably going to block Blight and Ultimatum. Ultimatum is really good if you have Chaos Resistance and a wide variety of elemental and standard ailment immunities corrupted blood uh, uh 
having anti-corrupted blood, having chaos inoculation, um, not being reliant on evasion, uh, having crit reduction, all of that tends to be really w go really well with ultimatum, so... This is a punchy build that could do very specific stuff. So I think I'm probably going to knock out Ultimatum, and I'm going to knock out Blight because I don't like Blight. Might knock out Ritual, I'm not sure. Then I'll leave... I'll leave um, Heist and Delirium as usual. Okay. Anyways. Safe house time. And then we will have our Katarina. Wait. Let's check really quickly. So, Katarina... I only need 4% more for Katarina. I hope I get more than one Mastermind experience, since this is only a one-star leader. Whatever it is. I just don't even know which what the leader is. Okay, I'm at 69% experience. Let's see how much I get from this. I like tracking that. It's fun with the boosted XP things. It also helps give me a chance, of, or like an, a concept of how much it's going to take next level when I'm doing stuff. Drunk box. Oh. Rare that I actually have something to power up strong boxes when I'm going into a safe house. I don't usually expect to see them here. Not that I usually bring stuff to power up strong boxes normally, but you know. Essence of stability. Oh, that's interesting. Forcing only upgrades or transformations and no downgrades on essences would actually be quite useful for a scarab if uh, you need to specifically do something for a challenge. Because I know there is an essence challenge right now for this league. Yeah, because you have to make... Uh... How would I get six essences on a map boss? Uh, okay, that's new. Oh, I don't know how to do that. That's probably one of the new map and blissets or something. This is definitely using... The deafening uh, essences thing is definitely using things like Scar Scarabs of Stability. I'm not not experience. Oh, there you are, Verici. I've been looking for you. For, like, a while, actually. You're going into research next time. Okay, good. The minimum... Oh. 
he's two star somehow. I must have done like a plus rank to intervention or something at some point. Oh, so I, I think that means that the minimum mastermind XP is five per turn. Okay, that's that's perfect. So I only need one turn to bring about Katarina. And every time you complete a syndicate encounter in your maps, you uh, how you progress the board by one turn. Yeah, there's turn-based stuff in uh, Path of Exile, did you know? <laughs> we got to 85%, so we got 16% of a level. Ooh, delirium encounters in area generate two additional reward types. Limit two, and I got two. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I can do something with that. Two additional reward types with with unending nightmare. The fog never dissipates. That'd be pretty good. Also, for the first time in like a very long time, I'm going up the right side of the board. I never go up the right side of the board. I always go up the left side here. And like take delirium stuff. So I guess I'm gonna be going for or um eater stuff instead of X Heart stuff. Weird. Maybe I should try the harvest stuff at some point. I used to love harvest. Okay, so I guess I'll do an X heart on tier 11. Silver vents. Yeah, it's all doable. Don't really care about Maven. Gem cutters, extra XP. You are not getting cold pen, thank you very much. I don't hate myself. Uh, lightning ranged. Are those can't, are those magic or attack? I think those are magic, so I'm going to swap them and give them an attack buff. Gem cutters on the bonus one and XP on there. That's fine. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Whoa! What's that? Liam doesn't usually hit that hard. At least not on this character. I'm going the wrong way. That's not good. I need to go the right way. Because, you know, I want to get to the end. <laughs> ah. Obvious things said obviously. Uh-oh. 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 Oh my gosh, I just barely did it in time. <laughs> oh, that almost went badly. Up. 
Sure, Haki, you can go over there. Sure, I don't want... I really would like you to be over here anyways. It. Nope. 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 Oh yeah, my... My omen just got eaten. Are you still alive? Why are you still alive? Ooh, Greater Ember. What am I missing? Okay, now there it is. I wonder why that wasn't closing. Doing pretty well. The glare hasn't caught up to me yet. I imagine it's getting close, though. I am kind of making a beeline away from the start point, so... It's helping. This map doesn't seem to double back on itself that much, which is good. Oh, uh, I spoke too soon. No, double back. Oh, well, I got four levels. I just realized I've had the wrong thing up, wrong screen up this entire time, so I haven't been reading chat at all, and no one said anything. Okay. <laughs> Kind of glad, because I want to be able to respond to people when they say things. See, can they petrify me from over here? Apparently not. So close to leveling. I have to actually pick up all the shit I left behind. Including the monsters. I'm, like, super aware of my level right now, because I'm, like, 3% away. Ghost <laughs> Coffin. Why are you acting like you're special? Apparently all coffins are special. Okay, stop that. Oh yeah, I haven't done any of the uh, June stuff yet. Right. Nope. Hume. 
Doom to June. Okay. Need to clear the inventory. Also, I just got the Pleric Invitation. I should run that soon. So I will be able to run the Pleric Invitation as soon as I level up. I don't want anything to lose then. We learned with Infinite Hunger that I am strong, not invincible. Not yet, at least. Transportation, transportation, transportation. Yay, I leveled up. None of this is good. Drop some currency. Level 90. Awesome. Let's get out of here. And that is our last point. I believe it's supposed to be up here, but we don't have the exposure yet, so it doesn't matter. We do have the blind master you want to take. He'll give me some more crit. Yeah, so I do want to take the exposure mastery still, eventually, whenever that's relevant. the main thing I want. Also gonna want to grab like extra life nodes where I can. Other heart seeker sections there, survivalist sections there. A lot of good stuff to pick up over the next few levels. Oh, it'd be good to pick up the crit multi against unique. Yeah, we're going to jump right into the player recommendation with the Dark Star. Or Black Star. Okay, let's see how Black Star does against Pyroclast. Oh, I started that too soon. <laughs> the dangers of damage racing a boss. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun, though. point. I think unveiling is just about out of things that I can actually reasonably add. I don't think there's much more I can unveil except for on, like, one-handed weapons. And there's not really a point to that for the most part because 
I'm not doing a melee build, and usually those one-handed weapon thing unveils aren't really that good anyways. Yeah, it looks like I'm just about out. Probably not a point picking up any build that isn't specifically saleable. Or just, uh, jewelry is good, too. Hmm. Let's pick brown for dirt. Corpses. I have to put all my corpses away. We are going to go to Necropolis and pick up more corpses, because I don't actually know what any of these things are worth, unfortunately. I think the there's certain ones that are worth something. I know the Haunted Buy is worth something. I'm pretty sure some of the resistance ones are worth things, too. Oh, does that put them back in the same spots? Oh, let's try to move them up closer to the front. Oh, and that's my inventory full. I have extra tabs, so I might as well store this stuff somewhere like here. Not like I'm going to be using them for crafting anytime soon. I don't really understand the system for crafting corpses, ultimately. Which means that I'm not going to be able to do much with it yet, until I have a better understanding. I haven't noticed any resistance ones yet. Those are the ones that I know are valuable. Or at least they were near the start of the league. Speed is probably valuable too. And crit. I will price them when I get the chance. Not right now. Actually, do I want to leave the haunted buys? I think I will. I have three Hadris Verusos. Uh, I have two Freesias, but they're by different people. And I have a single Nivellius. I believe you just take three of one of a particular type. Like I think I need three freeshas that are different people, but I don't know. I, again, it's one more thing I have to look into. Check the crit one's worth anything. Nope. Speed? Nope. Attribute? No, I said I wasn't going to do this on stream. I'm not going to do it on stream. Oh, I'm so happy to have hit 90. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, 
course I can sell my coin. Why not? Okay, well, I'm busy. Okay, so we can do a Katarina now. I'm not... I'm not gonna set her up or anything. I'm just gonna go with her as is and see what happens. Uh, do I want to... No, it, it is in fortification right now, so it's not gonna help me to take him out. I'm just going to go for Katarina, because this is going to be a tier 8 Katarina, probably? The Tormented Spirit here. Can you, can you come over here and, and, and like, torment Katarina? That'd be nice. Yes, yeah, so this is a tier 12 area. Too bad it's not a max Katarina, but remember correctly, they've added some, they've gated some new stuff behind Katarina that was like available before, but they moved it around. Oh, the Veil Chaos, I think, is now only from Katarina, so we might get some Veil Chaos, it'd be kind of cool. I think the Veil Chaos basically just acts like an Exalted Orb, but for a failed modifier too now, so I don't totally remember, but I know it's better than before. I do craft stuff, so the fact that like I, I basically never used Veiled Chaos before this point. I just I just did not ever see a reason. I did craft stuff a fair bit. Not, like, a huge amount of stuff, but I did craft a notable amount. I still no not once ever saw a use for Veil Chaos. I also don't like gambling on whether something's gonna work or not, so... Kind of affects it. A lot of crafting is gambling, and I don't like gambling. I only gamble if I can win, or if I know I'll win, that's how I usually work. Okay, first phase, or second phase technically, and I'm going back to the first phase. Don't, don't move things. Oh, yes. Bye. Capture the flag. Capture the flag, but the flag is a gravestone. Step on the exile, but the exile's a gravestone now. <laughs> No, I'm going to start away. Nope. 
Don't you dare slam me with your... Oh no. 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 There we go. Gotta break those before they turn into ex vulnerable exploding skeletons. You'll be sad. Slam. Where are we? Oh, she's waking up for Ichi. That's probably why. No, no, she isn't. No, she's waking up skeletons. That's what she's doing. You know what? No, let's phase her instead. I can phase her. Oh, those don't go away when you face her. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that's, that's certainly a thing, isn't it? Okay, well, time to kill you quickly. Or your skeletons do me. How dare you, butthead. Slam. There we go. Ooh, boy. Katarina. Oh. Oh, she's over here. Yay! Remove a random modifier, add a random veil modifier. Yay! That's the immortal... Immortal soul... Thing. Immortal ambition? Immortal soul? You know, it, it's a thing. That's kind of ass. The veiled six socket bow, though. Maybe it's worth something. Soul Tether! I love Soul Tether. Usually. Very valuable. Okay, how much is an unidentified Cinder Swallow? 10C. 15C. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna identify it and veil it, because it'll... It won't be worth anything then, but I want to get the regen modifier on my flasks. One of the, one of the flask crafts that I use the most. Oh, that was a brush paint and palette. Oh my gosh, the artist is valuable, so that'll be worth something. Oh, that's screaming essences. And remnants of corruption to use in maps. Good, good. Okay, Tony's Trial. Wait, what was Scrap Metal highlighted? They're worth 1c a piece. Weird that they're worth more than Astragali is now. These. See if I have something to chuck into Tiny's Trial or not. Nope. Ooh, some aspect bow stuff. Some aspect bow stuff. Okay, kitty cat. How much is kitty cat? 
Arrow. Uh, 5C. Not shield. How much is Booter on a bow? Booter is worth 3. Seed. People aren't spoodering very hard this league. Ooh. A breach toll. Nice. I can use that for breaches. Oh. That's why it's not... <laughs> That's why more keep dropping, because I'm not picking them up. Uh... I need to check this properly on the trade site because it is a Katarina's Veiled on a six socket and they want to the uh trade macro isn't really capable of checking that. Travel Chaos. Wait. No. No. What? No. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, hold on one second. I need... I want to display capture really quickly so I can show you what I'm, what I'm seeing. Because this... This isn't right. I don't know... Why it would be doing this? Did I display. Did I set the display capture up? No, not like that. Does that work? No, it doesn't work. Supposed to be on the main monitor. There you are. Um, so I think something's wrong with my macro. Because it's saying it's 9 div for a Veiled Orb, which doesn't make any sense. And there's nothing in the Chaos section. These were 5C last league. That can't be 9 div. That's not possible. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're actually 9 div. I just funded my I just funded half of my builds with this. Holy shit, that's so valuable. Wow, okay, no, I didn't I saw the veil door but I was like, "Oh yeah, nice veil door." Uh, I maybe like 10C, if it's doing well. Um, that's, that's more than 10C. That's at least 11. Okay. That's, uh... I feel lost now. I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, I guess I'm listing it. Uh... Nine div. Is that, is that seriously going to sell for nine div? Like I looked at the trade side, and the trade side doesn't lie. I I don't know. I'm. I think I'm just kind of blown away because of how value how not valuable it's been up until this point. It's not really supposed to be that valuable. Uh, okay, my brain's just a bit broken now. I'll be... I'll be fine, I guess. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. 
Okay, I need to do Tiny's Trial. Which means I need an actually, like, decently item-leveled something for that. This is 80. Seventy-eight, or because I want to definitely want to craft something that's going to be like decent, like has a chance of being decent. Want to craft with a gem, probably, or a jewel. That might be worth something. Hmm. I think I have the best concept of how good hypnotic jewels can be. So I'm gonna try crafting with the hypnotic jewel. Okay. Gold and fire, gold, light, you know. I I liked that crit mall. No, I like this thing better. No, I didn't do it fast enough. Oh well, I mean, I landed on a double ca cold and a chaos added to spells with two handers, so with staves. And ES regen. That's actually probably worth something. That might genuinely worth something. Hard to say. I'll put that one aside and figure it out later. That was so expensive. Er, it's expensive. That was so hard to price jewels. They're always so weird. Oh my gosh, if the, uh, if the Veiled Chaos Orb actually sells for 9 div, with the extra div that I have, I might be able to buy my Divinarius. Because I am gunning to get two Divinarius. For the Uber build. The other option is I could also upgrade my Victarios to a double-influenced one. Because those would be like the first things I would pick up on. Hey, Divinarius, how much are you worth right now? Wait, what? Supposedly Divinarius is like 30c, are you kidding me? Divinarius was so expensive last league. Divinarius was so expensive, how is this cheap now? Yeah, because it was like, it was like a hundred and, no, it was like five div last league for Divinarius. And I'm looking at it right now, a perfect one is three div. Wow. Okay, I'll have to like look into what is actually a decent Divinarius. Because I don't know whether I want spell damage or crit multi or what more. I can probably get some good Divinarius for just, like, three div for the pair. That'd be amazing. I could probably get cheap Divinarius for way less than that. Because, I mean, the main reason that we use the Catalyst here is that it has the elemental damage on it. The Divinarius starts at 150 spell dam 150 percent spell damage, which already exceeds that, and it has global crit strike chance in its mo in its uh, modifier. Um, actually, no, sorry, Dorani's Catalyst is technically around 130 percent uh, elemental resistances, and Divinarius is a minimum of 150. And Divinarius has a guaranteed 30% global crit chance instead of 30 to 40? 
Yeah, 30 to 40. But still, it'll be worth it, even if it's just like a really crappy Divinarius. Cool. Man, that's really exciting. <laughs> just... I might be flush with cash now. Okay, well, we'll see. We will see how this goes. I don't want to spend too long buying shit on stream. Just because that's boring as shit, doing that. People, I, at least I assume so. Especially if you can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, I'll do that later. That's exciting, so we'll be able to have some Art of Inarius pretty soon, then. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's a pug howl. I don't know how well it comes to my mic. It, it seems that my manager is telling me that it's time for intermission. Okay. I Don't worry. I promise I will have an intermission. Thank, thank you for your inquiry. Okay. We are going to go on a short intermission, and we will be back quite soon. Remember to get your water and snacks and stuff. Get up, stretch. It's good for you. I know I don't want it either. <laughs> okay. We will be back in one moment. And welcome back, everyone. Cat is back in the atlas. And we should really go run some of these contracts here. They're starting to pile up. Let's go, let's go deal with that. All right, I have to actually, I have to use up a single rogues marker to go to the rogues harbor, I forgot. Why can't they just have a button? <laughs> so much easier. Oh. Poisoned lockpicks. Okay, well, we're gonna do cars first, then. So we don't have to the lockpicks in our inventory. Okay. What is this? This is, oh, it's this is a yellow map level. I'm going to set us again to basic filter, which is semi strict, so that we can actually see heist equipment. I need to let more heist equipment through my my end game filter because I usually don't touch heist till later on, so it's kind of silly to not have. The ability to see the heist stuff dropping. It's not even like it drops very often either. Like, heist gear is notoriously hard to get. Holy shit, we've gotten three already. We've gotten three in the same heist. Anyway, are you trying to prove what I said wrong? I mean, by all means, prove me wrong. Dump like 20 on me. Because I would really like to have heist gear. Because you need four pieces of gear times nine rogues. 
And that assumes all of the gear that you get immediately is valuable to you. Uh, 9 times 4 is 36, so that is a notable amount. Don't you grenade me. Five pieces of heist gear. Is this an extra quant or something? This is zero quant. Wow. Don't prove me wrong then, I guess. Hi, Han. How you doing? That is fair, it's always nice to be home from work. I'm working on heist. Give me some more heist equipment. Prove me wrong or... Wronger. Prove me that I'm really wrong and drop much more heist equipment from me. Really, I would love that. <laughs> I need more heist equipment. Okay. I guess, like, five pieces is gonna be it, considering that's already a fuck ton for a single heist. You have an almost friend coming over tomorrow. So, like, you're kind of friends, but you hate one specific thing about them? You're like, I like you, but you like country music, so you have to die now. <laughs> I'm not saying that you should have to die if you like country music. I'm just saying that that's a funny, random thing to pick. Oh, wait, who can use Perception? Nanette and Karst. Oh, Karst is busy. And uh, Nanette doesn't have level 3 Perception yet. Sarment. Maps and nothing. Lyrium and Legion. Okay, Tibbs, Vendiri, Karst, Gianna, Lena, Huck, Niles, Niles, Isla, Nanette. Okay. It's going in order of how important they are to me. Anyways, good luck with your maybe friend that you won't murder. Hopefully they survive the encounter. Their coworker I get along with, but until I interact with them outside of that hemisphere, I don't think it's appropriate to call him a friend. Okay, fair. A co-friender. A co worker Yum. Thousand rogues markers. Adya! Oh, 
Okay, I might need to borrow your shovel. Mine didn't survive the last one. I think I dropped it in the lake on the way back. I don't remember which heist this is. Okay, down here. I wish I could have used the net for this perception, because I want to level up the net, and audio doesn't get any levels. Yeah, that's nice. I use stone, not wood or hay. Better yet, a cannon. Okay, I've lost... I've lost the plot of our joke, I admit. <laughs> are, are we canonizing someone? Do we dislike them that much? Uh, alarms. Okay. Great. Great. Spear. Another high piece of gear. Nice. I'm being really lucky today. Please keep it coming. I need more heist gear. Badly. Mainly heist weapons. I seem to have enough cloaks now. I actually have a brooch on every single one of my people now, which is nice. Stone, what hay is a reference to three little. I don't think I understand anything that's going on. <laughs> but I'm happy that you're here. That's the important thing, I think. Too much. Too much going on on the screen to think of complex things. Oh my gosh, the pug woofed in her sleep. It must be snoozy. That's a very small spear. Why is it so small? Usually they're like, ah, oh, yes, we're going to make it a four by five area. But no, they decide to make the spear a one by one. I mean, I like that. Just it's very weird by comparison to everything else they've done. Anyone? There. You need that, Niles. Let's get out of the laggy place. It's like the quiet place, but more terrifying. Laggy place.
Okay, so there are... Well, this is really short. There's only currency chests I care about. The rest I will ignore. Oh, someone wants to buy the thing. Uh... I will... I will abandon this... No, I don't have to abandon the mission. Hopefully I can do this really quickly and then get the heck out so that they are still willing to buy the 9-div thing. Can't even talk to them without dying. Okay, send a message. Hold on to your 9-div, I want it. I just have to get out of here. No! Well, I don't want to get out of here that way. Gosh darn it. Niles, open the damn thing. No! No! I'm ready! Don't leave! Join the fucking party! Oh my gosh, I hate it when people do that. <sighs> oh well. Does prove what it's worth, though. What, 18 quality frost bolts? Not bad. 18... 32... I have like an 8 or 9% gem. 9% gem! Perfect. It causes enormous plants to grow from almost any soil. Then it claims that I need to sacrifice a baby to make it function, but that's a bit grotesque even for me. Okay, I don't really want to sacrifice babies, nor do I want to carry a finger around. Oh yeah, so he's trying to prove that... There's no such thing as gods or magic. Which, I mean, makes sense if this was our world and not a world full of literal gods trying to kill us. Uh, let's tap out Huck at three. Yeah, he's a bit sus, generally. He's just like got this psychotic idea that there isn't that the entire there are gods and magic thing is just conspiracy. Which again would make sense if it were our world, but not in a world here where there's like literally zombies wandering around. I wonder what Niles would think of this character, who throws explosions. Actually, no, because this character's throwing mines, which are explosive material. So this, is not, this, act, this build actually isn't magic. Even if it is spell damage.
Crouch! I think I need another one of those still. I can at least start trying to make, like, good brooches now. Currency ones. Everyone wants currency duplication brooches. Unless you want the div card duplication ones. But then you just want div and currency duplication. Oh, get this the right way. And not to get ah, try not to get got. Going through through doors is the most dangerous thing in this game, or in this in heist at least. Oh no. Ooh, drop speed, nice. Drop speed, XP gain, and crit chance. Uh, who do I want that on? Decent. What does Vendary have? What does Vendary have? Does not generate an alert level. That's good because Vendary has increased alert level. Karst. This is a job speed for Karst. That's good. Actually, no. I want this on Talina. Because Talina is agility, and agility sucks. So the job speed will help her a lot. And then movement speed on Gianna. Since we'll be running around a lot with her. I'm gonna get done through things as quickly as possible. Also, currency. Currency and rarity. Nice. That is goes on Vendiri immediately. Okay. Yes. Yes, let's sign let's sell this nine div orb. Oh, so sexy. Okay, I'm pretty affluent now. <laughs> I've effectively 11 div. I think. Oh, they're 135, so actually I almost have 12 div. You can round it up to 12 div, seeing as I have gem cutters and stuff, too. That's nice. Okay. That means that we're just about ready to get a better Victarios. Can I really quickly open up my Victarios trade? Section. No, not that one. Let's see. How much for... Nope, that's Blair Devastation, which is still ridiculous, might I add. Okay, Victorio's Influence. So the ideal for this would be to have a double implicit one. Uh... So, the best way to do that is to use a count filter. 
Can I show this somehow? Do do do. I know recognize. There, I'll demonstrate what I'm doing. So we have the Victoria's influence up. Uh, I've added the stat group count to this, so what we want are AoE, plus it, level of socket AoE gems, uh, socketed mine, no, trap and mine gems, implicit, and socketed uh, aura gems, implicit. So those will all work. Uh, we need two of them together, so we're gonna sit count two. So it'll pick any two, any anything that matches two of these, it will pick. Oh, right. No, we actually wanted to have six link, six pockets. There we are, six link. Okay, so let's see. So we can get a trap in mind and AoE for 5 div. We can get a AoE and Aura, 10 div, and one for 15 as well. Uh, the ideal is trap in mine, because that will give us... That will up minefield support. Uh, above 20 to 22. At 21, minefield support becomes better. So ideally, you want to use a level 21 minefield support, or if you have the plus 2 to trap and mine, then you could just skip that and use level 20. Uh, for some reason, level 22 and 23 don't do anything. So there's not really much of a benefit to it to have like level 21 version of this, but... It matters a lot to have the trap in mind one specifically, because then it upgrades this, which is a little bit more power than just the aura ones. Because aura and AoE will do this, but AoE and trap will also do this. Or AoE and mine will do that. It also upgrades trap and mine damage support since that's mine, and charge mine support which, since that's mine. Let's see, so we are a... We're using four blue, one red, one green. No reason to hesitate on this. Don't think so. Let's see if I can get this 5 div one. Because the 5 div one is really, really good. So that will bring... Uh, that will bring me up from level 20 to level 20... Sorry, I'll bring it from level 21 Pyroclast to level 25 Pyroclast. Yeah, that is absolutely worth it. AoE and trap. Yep, yeah, no, that's perfect. This this particular thing has costed me well over 10 div before, so I'm happy that I managed to get what is effectively a plus 5 Victarios. So cheap. Okay, well that is a large portion of the builds. Like, 
I don't know. I don't know how to describe how much four gem levels is. It's like an extra four million DPS. Like it, it basically it probably doubles the damage of the build or more. It's really a really big deal. And if we get the Divinarius, oh man. So somehow we have to get. We only need one off color, which is the red. So the most efficient way to do that would be to go to the Verici, yeah, Verici calculator, Verici chromatic calculator, if you ever need to find this. It tells you exactly what the most efficient thing is, like most efficient way it is to get a particular thing. So 76 decks, 76 into the requirements. We want to, we desire one red, one blue, or one one red, one green, four blue. Uh, the most effective way to do this is at one chrome at a time, apparently. But we can't do that because it's corrupted. So the next best is one red. On the average, it uses forty four chromes. We might have to buy more chromes. Oh, that's the other problem, is we need balls. Forgot about that. That's gonna be expensive. I'm gonna put that in my inventory just so we can see visually what I'm doing. Okay, so, one red socket. Okay. Almost. 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 No. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. <laughs> and that's a set of all orbs. Right away. Okay, guess what we're buying now? All orbs. Yay. Not actually that excited. If they're two to a chaos, that is really good, though. I don't think they're. I think they're a little bit more than that, but this is what I'm seeing right now. Sure, you can buy that malevolence. Hmm. Don't want to spend like a large amount of money on balls, but it's probably worth getting a bunch of all balls anyways, because I'm going to need them. Okay, how about 40 be worth? I'll just go all the way up to 60, maybe. Yeah. Or when you're trying to get larger quantities, because it requires a lot more clicking. Oh. oh, we got one for 50. Battleground Graves. That's a new one. Oh, it must be an, an expedition logbook. That's what that is. Well, I don't recognize the area name. And Graves, so Expedition. I 
So double check what the hotkey is again to cop to transfer all into an, into a uh, trade window because I don't remember. I think it's just control click. I'm still not used to it existing, so I don't even think about it till after I do it. Okay, I need four blue, one green, one red. Perfect. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Nope, not that song. Okay, power class mine of Sabotage. Tap and mine damage. Operation support. Minefield support. Critical strike support. And charge mine support. So, uh, it's level 19 right now, but uh, with plus one levels, it's at 1250 to 1850. With plus five levels, it's at 1825 to 2725. That's the difference of adding four levels to Power Class Mines. It just, it, it levels so well with gem levels. And I'm about to hit 20, which is going to give it another level, and then I'm going to buy a level 21 gem, which is going to give it another level. Also, now I just have a 6 Link Victorio to sell. It also has perfect aura, uh, aura range, which I don't know if that's valuable. Suggesting that it is valuable. 1.5 div. Okay. Cool, so we have a crazy powerful chest plate now. That's pretty awesome. I am very excited for this. We should do something now. That we actually have this stuff. I, I can, I'm gonna go buy the Divinarius off stream and stuff, and fuck around with that, and I'm probably gonna buy better gems and such. But for now, for now, I am going to just play as is. Let's do bog. Armor. I can deal with all that. Perfect. Arabs. Don't even know. There's so many scarabs now. Must. Oh, wait. Sulfite found in the area. Release enraging fumes. Monsters affected by enraging fumes have 500% increased item quantity. I'll take one of those, and I'll take a mirrored one, and an extra pack size one, and Delirium has two additional reward types one. Wait, no, I can't do that, because I only have four slots so far. I'm going to do an action, my first, like, real juiced map. Uh... So, I, is there anything I can use to boost this? You know what, I'll just pick Beyond. Beyond boosts a lot. Uh, I don't want a, like extreme movement speed on the Roas, of all things. That sounds awful. Uh, the most dangerous ones here are probably... Hmm. I 
think the Soulless Watch is the most dangerous one, so I'll give them evasion because I don't use attacks. The movement speed of the slow ones. Plus four monster level to the weak ones, or to the strong ones that have less pack size. And I guess they'll get fire damage. Should I bother adding anything to this? I'm already juicing it anyways. Pack monsters reward sulfite on death. I mean, that's thematic. Be careful. The rare dread wheel. Over here. Yep. Stand beside the enraging fumes, will you? Oh gosh. Getting a bit dicey. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to hit that yet, but that's okay. I want to see less things, please. Oh, I just got that lesser shrine because of the, um, the doomed spirits thing. The, uh, because of price of progress. Yeah, doomed spirits. Cool. Oh gosh. Maybe I... Should I bring him over? Actually, I don't know if... I don't know if he's going to get buffed with the thing now that the... I don't know if he's going to get buffed with the sulfite since the sulfite's gone now. I don't think he will, so... Yeah, no. It's effectively gone. Intervention, sure. Intervention, sure. Uh, intervention, sure. <laughs> Alright, let's clear this out so that I can... ...do the expedition. Okay. Let's be nice about this. They're not being nice about this. Ow. Ow. Stop that. Ow. Okay. Chance of glass blowers drops consecrate burning ground on death. I can do burning ground. That's fine. I just have to not stand where they are. Since it won't be permanent burning ground. The default duration for stuff like that is four seconds, so... Yeah, no, it really doesn't last long. I just need to not run over the spot immediately after they die. Nope. Okay. That's probably a bit much. That's probably a bit much. That is a bit much. Don't you dare charge me. Don't you dare explode corpses. We will have a corpse talking to. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this. Yeah. Oh, it's a soul eater. That's why I was being so tough. Okay, everything come over here towards the the fumes, will you? No, we're not doing that. 
I don't know how close they have to be to get fumed. Unfortunately, Acceleration Trine only gives me movement speed, doesn't really give me, a, like, any attack ability, but... Wait, no, it does! It, it gives me mind-throwing speed because it's action speed, and action speed is different than cast speed. It's not cast speed. Upgrade. Everyone come over here. This isn't working. Airlock. No, Richie, I want you to go into research, which means I need you to not go into anything else for now. Can I jump this? No. Don't like. Oh. Soul Leader. Whoa. That's why you're such a butthead, because you're a Soul Leader. There we go. May we for... I'll just... I'll get some quant in exchange. I'm not using my curses at all. That's fine. I can do that. No! I knew I shouldn't have stood there! I knew I shouldn't have stood there, and I still did it! I still fucking did it! I knew better than that! That was absolutely my fault. Ugh... I hate that feeling when it's like, yeah, I have absolutely no one to blame for this but myself. 100% my fault. Okay. That's fine. Because we're just going to get right back in there. Got a Forking River map, which we can do. Oh, I just got my f I, my first tier 16 um, contract. I didn't notice that. I would like a tier 16 map, ideally. <laughs> That'd be kind of nice. Okay, let's do the boss first. Explosions. Alternate name for this, the Torque build. Explosion? I I can't do his his voice. I I can't do a like a specifically masculine voice anymore. I've I've tried. It doesn't work. My voice can't do it with after HRT. My resting voice is basically as masculine as it gets now. I mean, 
Uh, doesn't make me unhappy, really. I like that. I keep using my my curse. I keep forgetting and using it. Like, right there. But I guess, like, they're still affected by it. It's just that I'm also affected by it. I guess I can easily withstand a curse. Should be fine. Crystal Glove enchantments? Yeah. Or two. Okay. Mutation, it's your time. Hmm. Oh no. We don't need to go down there. Can I grab these three without hitting the remnant? Yeah, I can. Then over here. Avoiding this, because I don't need the jewelry. Grab that for artifacts. I don't want that and this if I can manage it. Now, I'm going to try this instead. Avoiding that one. Oh, and then I can go over here and get this. Okay, lots, lots of stuff. Oh, I, ooh, rare monsters and packs. Oh, gosh, can I reach that? No, not in the slightest. Uh, where's the last one's right here? That's as close as I can get it. I, no, I can't. There we go. That's probably my best bet. Oh, so, okay, so Black Scythe is Tusion. That is good. I always forget who is who. Point edge, that's 4C. Nice. Okay, is there anything else left here? No, I did all the Nico stuff, the boss, and all the June stuff. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm gonna go this way, because I want to get the guarded hordes back, because if I have... Uh... If I want to go for the fumes again, then having guarded hordes will matter a lot. Oh! I picked up four more... Nice. Okay, that's really good. I can never remember. I think this is 10C for 12 things. Thank. I think I'm doing that right. These. Only a couple C. And the coin just continues to be 4C a piece. Okay. 
I already have one of these. Red the mineral one. Yeah, I just shredded that map so, so well. I'm very happy. God, and I'm, it's going to be so much even better as soon as I... Ooh, accuracy rating. Ooh, increase accuracy rating and minus spell, spell damage prevented from suppression. That's really bad. Really cruel, because that's those are the two stats that are most common for evasion builds, and having them together is awful. It's mean. Uh... Here, you don't use spells. You're fine being slow. The chill on the thing that moves too slow to use it. Jeweler's on normal, okay. Maybe I should be spamming some low-level maps to see if I can get some good uh, lanterns. So, like, ones with armor drops as chaos or more shit like that. Everything hits me harder on this map, so my evasion will not be as effective. Remember that. Can't just let things get as close to me as it will. If I can avoid it. Good. And loses all ranks. The card metamorphosis, I don't care. Research intelligence. Cool. Wait, what? Oh. I don't think I've seen them portal in and then immediately portal out before. Oh, sad pug. Oh, what's going on, baby? You've had everything you need. Oh, I have a pug in my lap. Yeah, I know. Oh. Are you lonely? I love you. Yes. Very good puck. Yeah. I'll have to end the stream soonish and give her some some extra attention. Yeah. Yeah, you're feeling lonely, aren't you? That's okay. Okay. Need to wait for a little while. I think we're gonna finish this map, probably. And call it there. We are nearing the 4-hour mark anyways, so it makes sense. Uh... 
Oh, we got the charge gain ritual on a map that monsters already have charge gain on. That's good. It's always nice when their buffs overlap. I actually wanted stuff like charges, because those are dangerous. Crown of Freesha. Left of Fate. Oh, cool. I don't recognize that one. That's new, or I'm just not familiar with it. I guess those are the two, only two options. <laughs> Don't get your bubble away from me. Just spin, just like swing my cursor around in circles, and it takes care of most things. Still have one more ritual. Done pretty good, though. We hit 90. Makes me very happy. That means we are effectively full build, and I'm somewhere between... I, I'm effectively moved from the basic to the advanced section of the build as well. Uh, and for anyone who's not familiar with what I'm talking about, I'm referring to the sections I have broken up the build into in Path of Building. If you're interested in the builds, you can hit exclamation mark build, or if you're watching this on the VOD, you can check the description for the video where I go over the entire build and how to make everything set up. It is a relatively cheap build, and very efficient for what it is. So, if you want a good league starter, it's great. And it can easily jump into much stronger... Uh, not much stronger, but like, much more expensive builds later on if you want to swap it out. Since it earns currency really well. It's funny that the Divinarius ended up being so cheap, like around 30c. Ooh! Chaos time! Yes, yeah, it's, it's funny that it ended up being so cheap because, uh, the, I mean, the, uh, Cleric Devastation... Cleric Devastation ended up being way more expensive than it was supposed to be. So, it actually works out, because... Like, I looks like a decent Divinarius is around a div. And... A down from five div each. And... And Cleric Devastation is... Six div up from five C... So it actually works out to be the Uber build's about the same level of, uh, about worth the same amount as I was expecting. It's going to be about two, two-ish div cheaper on average than normal. Or at least more than I expected. Do I get down again? There we are. Apparently I missed a syndicate thing. Ooh, my first red Kyrick mission. Yeah, it looks like the Uber version of the build is going to cost me about 
15 div including the rares. Of the 20 div I expected not including the rares. So I am quite happy. And I'm I'm assuming that the chest plate that I bought, which I got for 5 div, is worth about 10 div in my calculations, so that's why that's where like most of the discrepancy is coming from. I got that so darn cheap. Yeah, I did intervention and research has has gone back. What what's left? That means there's either a transportation or a fortification somewhere. Somehow I missed it completely. Here? Has to be here, it does doesn't it? Well, there's an extra corpse at least. Oh, maybe it's up over in this area. That'd make some amount of sense. Yeah, it's a fortification. They take a lot of room. Oh, as I was saying earlier, I cannot wait till I have my Devinarius because they actually add like a really, really nice defensive layer to mapping specifically because they have like a chunk of on kill health and mana. It's like 200 health and like 40 mana on kill. That's pretty crazy. We'll turn in our brush, paint, and palette that we got earlier for an artist. Which is for the level 4 enhanced. Which locks it in at 75c. And that, was, that was such a good drop. Okay, we are going to do the Maven's Invitation. We'll get it done. Okay, Mervale. I think we'll go here first. Wipe up Mervale. No, you're not dropping a giant water bomb on me. Who else is this? Common Voler there. Is that all I have? Just Common Vol? Okay, yeah, that's not a problem. As long as I don't get charged by Vol, I'm good. So what I'm going to be heading up to is Intelligence Gathering. So whenever I complete a map, I get 10 Intelligence to a random Syndicate safe house, which is going to matter a lot, because that will help get me towards doing more Katarina's. Very important. I can run this safe house, but I don't know if it's worth it, because it's only a one star, and I want to keep pushing my Katarina, because if I can get... If I can get drops that are 9 div from Katarina, then... I'm gonna fucking do that. <laughs> that's... That's too... It's too good not to. Also, it's time for me to get my... Awesome... Cinder Swallow buff. Okay, so we want regen. There we are. 
now regen is unlocked as our only flask craft that we can add. Honestly, I might just add that to my jade flask right now so that I don't have to do much else. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Need that. And life per second. There we go. 3% of life per second is really good, because that's that's 40... That's 120 life a second for me. Which is really, really nice. Actually, that's 123, but still. It's really nice to have an as an extra. Especially when you've been hit with a savage hit. And I assume the Cinder Swallow is now worthless. That has a modifier on it. Because that's usually what happens to the Cinder Swallows once you've picked a modifier, is that they're, they're for unlocking the, uh, the particular variant. There we go. They're all about the unveil and getting the craft, so... People generally don't pay too much for them afterwards. They just sell them immediately, which is what I'm doing. Because who needs them, really? Like, unless you specifically need it for it as a flask, it's kind of better to just sell it. So I do want to let y'all in one little secret that I've noticed. All right, I don't think it's so much of a secret as, like... It's just, it just seems a bit nice, let's put it that way. I'm going to pause the music for a second. So, this has five charges, which recharges five charges when you consume an ignited corpse. Most people don't, most people who are playing, like, an ignite build or playing a fire uh, flat damage build like I am, aren't going to be consuming corpses. However... Something that you can do, now this league specifically, is, if you're down in the bottom right-hand corner of the tree near Prospero's Wager, you can take an honest job. Gain Gravekeeper's Boon on collecting a corpse near maps. Gravekeeper's Boon causes you to consume a nearby corpse every second to recover 10% of life and mana for 30 seconds. So... You'll recover, you'll you'll eat 30 corpses over 30 seconds, basically. And what that means is that you, over 30 seconds, assuming you have all the corpses that you need, will recover 150 charges for your flask, for your Cinder Swallow. Your Cinder Swallow is, you guessed it, 150 charges to be full. So it is enough to fully recharge your Cinder Swallow. Which is kind of cool. There's also the, um... Uh, the regen uh, mastery, where it's every three seconds consume a nearby corpse to recover 10% of life. But that, A, requires you to take uh, a regen uh, wheel to get the mastery. So it requires, like, at least three, four skill points. Or you can do it this way and use your Atlas passives instead and just get the Gravekeeper's Boon. Which is pretty awesome. And honestly, I, I should probably just get this anyways. Because that's good. Like, that's really good. Because you're recovering 10% of your life and mana every second so long as those corpses nearby. As long as you don't need those corpses for things. It also deletes corpses. So you won't have issues like Detonate Dead being as big a problem. It is actually really good, and I have now talked myself into picking it up. <laughs> Interesting uh, side effect of me talking. One more point. I will take that point out of this. Cool. So now we're going to have Gravekeeper's Boon just whenever we're doing shit. That's... 10% of your life is pretty fucking good. That's me regenerating 
400 life per second and 100 mana, which is like about a quarter of my mana, ultimately. Like, of my unreserved mana. And also, seeing as the effect keeps renewing itself, and it's not just a... Uh, it's just, like, it's a flat effect that keeps going, it doesn't need to... It, it doesn't matter whether you've reserved most of your life or not, because it'll still keep affecting you. It's, it's, since it's a flat amount that you get, it just fills you up each time. Which is great. So. I'm gonna try an honest job and see how that goes. That might also be, like, really crazy for mana builds, specifically, because, I mean, that's a nice little bit of extra mana. But yeah, I'm picking that up now. We'll see, we'll see how it actually ends up going, but yeah. Okay, we are past the four-hour mark now in the stream, and it is time for us to call it, because the pug needs cuddling, and also... It's late. Well, thank you all so much for coming today. Uh, this VOD will be posted on the Black Cat Streams channel soon. I have a bit of a VOD backup, so it's going to probably be like five days. <laughs> Oops. Because of the fact that I took a week, on, oh, took a week off for burnout, it's, uh, I'm a bit behind on things, but I'm catching up now. I'm start I started trying to catch up today, so we'll see. Uh, but you'll see that soon. Uh, I'm po I'm going to be going back to trying to post four or five videos a week on at Black Cat Studio. If you want to see just the highlights, it's honest. Honestly, it's totally worth it. Even if you saw the, the base content, because I try to edit it notably wherever possible, so that it's actually interesting. And yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Follow the Twitch channel if you've enjoyed it, so you can see more cool content, and I will see you this coming Tuesday, because I stream Tuesday, Thursday at 2pm PST, 5pm EST. Thank you all so much for coming today, and I hope you have a great evening, and after tomorrow, a great weekend. Bye, y'all.